Yeah, I think anyone um, reading the uh, Safe Guardian Adults Review report will see that there are some challenges for a number of uh, agencies. For providers of care and support to people like John in the community to help him to live uh, independently, I think the key issues are to ensure that you have a falls policy in place, including very clear instructions about when a risk assessment should be carried out and what type of support you might need to put in place or refer uh, on to be put in place uh, to try and prevent the risk of falling. Also for uh, providers of care, for people such as John, the importance of having a hospital passport which is bang up to date and which can be readily accessed if the person has to be admitted to hospital so that uh, the hospital staff can be well informed about uh, the person's needs. In respect of hospitals, I think there was a mentality in each of the hospitals where the inappropriate discharges took place that once John was medically fit for discharge there was no barrier to, be, to him being discharged. And in fact, there was quite an emphasis on discharging as quickly as possible. But there wasn't sufficient attention paid to, firstly, what about his social care needs? And there was insufficient attention paid to safeguarding concerns which had arisen around his admission, the reasons for his admission, the fall in supported accommodation. In other words, he was being discharged back to the accommodation where he'd had the serious fall without sufficient thought being given to whether those risks might still be there and whether any adjustments needed to be made by the provider or others to make sure he could be discharged safely. So. It's, it's not just about uh, f medically fit for discharge, it's thinking about any social issues and any safeguarding issues. And in respect of the community learning disability team, really making sure that uh, there is close liaison with the hospital prior to discharge, and if, as in one case, uh, the learning disability team uh, wasn't able to get a, an adequate response from uh, the hospital in respect of discharge planning to be prepared to escalate that uh, concern um, and also to be very, very involved in thinking about uh, uh, the needs of a person like John when he was discharged from hospital. What, what further needed to be done? What could be done uh, immediately to make uh, the place to which he was being discharged uh, safer? Was it necessary to think about an alternative placement on a temporary basis to keep him safe? So those are some of the key messages for uh, professionals from various disciplines arising from this review.